So my name is Sandeep Chatterjee. So I lead the supply chain and sustainability service line at IBM Consulting. Uh, primarily, my work involves uh, supply chain, sustainability, and now a lot of usage of tech, uh, primarily generative AI, which is uh, we call it as the Netscape moment of the internet. What can attendees expect from your session during SETEC 2024? Yeah, so I think a uh, lot of people understand theoretically how it works. But what I strongly believe is unless you make it work in the field, it is not proven. So I will be talking about a lot of use cases where it has been used. Because at the end of the day, knowing something is good. But the thing is, people should also have the confidence that whether it actually works or it is, it's actually a hype. So I will bring in a lot of cases, case studies to tell what we have done, what has been done, what is the future. So that will give people more realistic expectation rather than talking theoretically because uh, we can go on theoretically. But unless when the rubber hits the road, I think that is where we know what are the teething challenges. So I would like to give a more practical view of Gen AI, which is doable so that at least uh, people can take it to the larger ecosystem and uh, we can have a, what I say, a better supply chains going ahead. How can artificial intelligence, machine learning, Gen AI as a particular subset of artificial intelligence fit in the supply chain landscape? Historically, companies have struggled with forecasting because it's not that you take a past sales data, you do an algorithm and you predict because there are so many causal factors. For example, what is the weather forecast? There is some black swan event which is humming. Like while the human brain will be able to process it, but the limited amount of time which we are given to react or respond, I think machines will definitely do a much better job. And even the kind of data which we are generating, if I have to process it in one minute, only a machine can process it. Human brain can they maybe process better, but it will need more time. So forecasting is an area which is actually very promising because right now if I say if you get a 60% accurate forecast, you are doing great and writing a better algorithm doesn't make sense. That's where generative AI can actually help us look at multiple sources. In fact, a very interesting uh, case which is done by MIT, for example, we always have to predict uh, if I have to do a new product introduction. Historically, new product introduction, the way they are forecasted is you look like a similar product and try to predict, which may not be the right thing to do. But what uh, in the apparel business, what they have done is they have licked an image, say 10 possible images. They have looked at dimensions of each of these dresses. And that's where they were able to predict that this is the forecast you will be able to because fast fashion, it's three months. So you have to do really things very fast. And if I still rely on the old methods, I think this is uh, is a is a game changing for the not so much for the very traditional lead times, but for fast fashion, I think this holds a lot of promise. And this has been actually been proven in an experiment which was done by MIT Labs, and the results are very very encouraging. Uh, the second aspect I see is in supply chain. Uh, we have to do a lot of these documentation, right? It's a contract. It's a customs and everything has to move very fast. And again, uh, we all know going through pages, reams of contract can be so frustrating. And because it's human beings, it can be error prone. But with Gen AI, I think it will be able to do, do a synopsis very fast. It will be able to write a contract which will be almost accurate. And so I think these are where we will see a lot of traction around that. Third is customer service. Uh, I know... We are, a lot of people have chat bots, but chat bots, what happened is they don't have the emotional angle. But with Gen AI, they can record your voice, they can record your emotions. And we have actually seen certain uh, very interesting observations where Gen AI was able to even uh, mimic human emotions. So that way, when what people lack when they are uh, interacting with the customer service, because in supply chains with so many parties, so many stakeholders, Interactions is the only thing uh, which is of prime importance. I think that where it will be more accurate, it will be faster. So already uh, the recent report says that 40% uh, of supply chain firms are already investing in Gen AI because everybody sees a value in this. So I think these are uh, very exciting times and this is what uh, 
consumes me uh, as my day job. I had made this mistake about 20 years ago when I was very scared of tech. But if you look at it, tech is everywhere. While tech is always an enabler, so what I will strongly suggest is do embrace tech because this is here to stay. I'm not saying you let tech drive everything, but uh, we should have more have an open mind towards tech. I know there is a lot of concern around ethics, a lot of concern around bias. That is the case with any new technology. But unless it is tested, unless proven, we will not be able to improve further. You look at the initial internet. When I used to send an email, it used to take me 30 minutes. Today, it takes seconds. Same thing we will see. Uh, there will be pros and cons. But I think for everything in life, there are pros and cons. But if we can take a more holistic approach, like what I will take, what I will not, I think we can make it a much better world. I think that is my only humble suggestion that tech is here to stay. Thank you very much, Sandeep. Thank you. Thank you so much.